hey guys once again welcome to our channel hopefully you guys are doing great in today's video we'll be dealing with a new concept that reminds me actually it's not a new concept but we have been discussed we have discussed this uh, concept in our previous video and that was introduction to electron shells where we discussed how we can reduce the electronic configuration how we can writing on the special notation the electronic configuration we can also draw the structures of an atom and etc etc but in this video, it's special because we will be discussing that advanced level, all right? And that advanced level, as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail, you will be familiar with that. You will have an idea of what exactly we are trying to discuss with you guys. So that, as you can suggest by the video's thumbnail, electron shells, principal quantum numbers. And the main point is not electron shells. The main point is about principal quantum numbers that we're going to discuss in today's video. So without wasting our precious time, let us just jump directly into the topic. All right. The principal quantum numbers, it's a new topic, new concept. But yeah, it's related to the electron shells. Now, shells or more familiar, more advanced principal quantum shells. Now, the arrangement of electrons in an atom is called the electronic configuration. Now, the electronic con this is the basic definition of what you mean electronic configuration. It's the simple definition, the arrangement of electrons in an atom is called the electronic configuration. Now, electrons are arranged around the nucleus in shells. Okay. It's basically the IGCSE level I'm talking about. If you come to the advanced level, you will see that electrons that are arranged around the nucleus in principal energy levels or principal quantum shells means the same thing but yeah it's a, i told you it's an advanced level now the principal quantum numbers here comes the main point the most main point i would say the principal quantum numbers n we can refer to them as the small as the lowercase n they are used to number the energy levels or quantum shells basically you are numbering the shells okay the, then the two points that you need to be familiar with the lower the principal quantum number the closer the shell is to the nucleus so for example i'm talking about principal quantum number one that means i'm talking about the first shell it's closer to the nucleus the second shell principal quantum number two n equals two that will be meaning that that means that it's the second shell further away from the nucleus third shell even further and fourth shell n equals 4 even even further all right and the higher the principal quantum number the higher the energy of the shell these are the main points that you need to be that you need to be familiar with now each principal quantum number has a fixed number of electrons it can hold okay each principal quantum number has a fixed number of electrons it can hold n equals 1, n equals 2, n equals 3, these are all principal quantum numbers and they can hold, they can accommodate a fixed number of electrons. Not, uh, it can hold less than that, but it cannot exceed that limit, alright? So if you're talking about first shell, n equals 1, one second, let me just, yeah, bring it here. So these, if you talk about this one, n equals 1, it can hold up to 2 electrons n equals to 2 up to 8 electrons, n equals 3 up to 18 electrons, n equals 4 up to 32 electrons. All right. So as you move further away from the shell, you will see that uh, if you go to the first shell, 2 electrons, second shell, 8 electrons, third shell, 18 electrons, fourth shell, 32 electrons. But in this level, you're just um, in your levels, in IGCC, ASNA levels, you need to be just familiar with four shells, I guess. All right. So these are the things, important things that you need to be taking that you need to take into account. All right, moving on. Now to make it to make things easier, this, this is a diagrammatic snapshot of how the electrons are arranged in the nucleus. What are the principal quantum numbers? How is everything happening? The, how the previous slide is just summarized into this whole diagram. All right, so electrons are arranged in the principal quantum shells which are number of principal quantum numbers. So you can see that as we are moving further away from the nucleus, increasing the distance from the nucleus, we're increasing the energy, all right? 
So n equals 1, max 2 electrons, n equals 2 up to 8 electrons, n equals 3 up to 18 electrons, n equals 4 up to 32 electrons. You can see that the number of electrons keeps increasing as you're moving to this successive shell. So this is you need to this is all you need to be familiar with shell, okay? But yet we are not done with the chapter of electronic structure. Okay, now there are more things to come. There are many things that what does shell contained inside and what that do and what does like what it's you you will be you'll be familiar with them in our next videos we will be discussing um the concept of subshells you will be discussing the concept of orbitals many things have to be covered in the chapter of electronic structure so make sure you do them you know you don't miss them out by subscribing to our channel hitting the like button liking the hitting the like button commenting down below, sharing this video with your fellow friends. And that's it for today's video. Cheers.